Contrast for me, it, it really refers to deliberately contrasted elements within our shot. And we use this to kind of draw the eye or to highlight things or just create straight up entertainment value. Um, once you start looking for this, you sort of start to see that all entertainment, not just animation, is kind of based on contrast. That's how it works. That's how music kind of works. And filmmaking at the larger scale works, you know, on the scene by scene, on the not just the within a shot, which is where we work, but, you know, within a scene and within the contrast of the whole movie. You know, for instance, if you're watching a Bond film, you, you watch if you have a car chase scene, they'll follow it with like a a slower paced intimacy type scene, you know, after that one or a talky type scene, they won't do two of the same. Always trying to continuously turn that that switch where we're flipping, contrasting all the time. So what does contrast look like in animation or what are our particular tools for contrast? It can be elements of timing. So we can do fast to slow and you know, we have things moving really fast and then slower movements. That's common. You know, we see that just in spacing in general. That's how we make our, our things feel heavy and look good, but we exaggerate that for effect as well. But we also have sort of scale and shape and concepts within our shot. So let's give some examples. All right, let's have a look at some examples here and we'll break them down. So the first one I want to look at is from, it's a, it's a scrap short. The reason I show this, Scrat is very pure animation and therefore he is very pure with these contrast techniques. In fact, he's pretty much predicated entirely on contrast. That's how his whole whole jam and entertainment works. So let's watch the short and then we'll break down how these techniques are being used. It's It's helpful. And again, you'll be using a lot of this instinctively already, but the more we define it and you become aware of it, the more deliberately you can use it in your work and enhance it in your work. Cool. So looking good. Very funny. Now let's have a look what's going on here. So when Scrap first enters, he takes a very rounded path of action where everything is moving. So it's one, two, three, and then freeze. So it's everything, 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 hold. Broad movement, broad movement, broad movement, hold. Then once he does hold and starts sniffing here, it's an isolated movement where the whole pose is holding, but just the nose is going. If we frame through, so just the nose goes. And then when the nose stops, then the eyes go. They're deliberately separating those elements for just hardcore, pure clarity. Now, often we won't you know, entirely want to separate things too much um, because it can feel <clears throat> obvious. But I think a lot of the time for clarity's sake, separating beats from each other or separating concepts from each other adds to the clarity. And here, because this is highly stylized, we can get away with, you know, going really extreme with that. And it's it's pretty cool. But it's just the nose moving, then just the eyes. And so it's these really contained movements, almost nothing moving, followed by contrast, everything moving. There's even a little freeze where nothing's moving. And then whoop, everything moving. So big contrast at the body level. Then same thing again, you know, these big broad path of action followed by a hold, that's contrast. Whilst in this hold, again, we've got the isolated movement where it's really just the nose going. And again, you'll notice they separate the nose movement from the eye movement. And then again, they see there's a hold, nothing moving for one, two, three, four, five frames. And then boom, everything moving frenetically. The nose, the arms, legs, feet, everything's scampering about. Then again, held pose with just the nose. Then again, hitting a pose but isolated movement with just the arm. Followed by full body pose change. Full body. Followed by frenetic 
followed by hold, followed by frenetic with everything, hold, full body, frenetic. And again, held pose with an isolated movement to break it up so it's not always everything moving. And then what I mean by contrast is kind of the basis for all entertainment value. You can see it here, even at the comedy level, the whole thing that this is predicated on, he's doing this tiniest movement to gently put down the acorn. And the contrast there is that it splits the mountain in half. Tiny movement, this tiny weight splits the mountain in half. It's a kind of ridiculous contrast of your expectations because that you know wouldn't happen. In fact, it's, you know, it's deliberately subverting with that giant contrast. The whole mountain splits in half. Isolated movement with just the nose dropping, followed by full body frenetic motion. Let's look at another example here from Boss Baby. This is perhaps a little more underplayed, but it's the same thing. And you start to see these changes in contrast that I keep pointing out from like held pose, full body isolated movement as we cycle through those that's those are the data points that create the rhythm of the shot so you have lots of points close together and then maybe not too many points uh, and you start to get a rhythm to your shot where some bits are fast and frenetic some bits are slower and there becomes a nice variety basically is what we're after a balanced variety so it's not all crazy stuff it's not all too many held poses or slow language stuff that you're kind of using these in a in a symphony, one after the other. <laughs> 